Wisdom. And now his name is Dr. Zakari Naik. Uh, who is presently having 10 days crusade uh, right there. And now, interestingly, he has been banned from uh, United Kingdom. He has been banned from Canada. Uh, he has also been banned uh, from Bangladesh, uh, Malaysia, and from his own native um, country, which is India. He was born... He was born in Mumbai, and he is a Muslim cleric of India origin, a founder and president of Islamic Research Foundation, IRF. He has been banned in India. Like I said earlier, he was also declared at a point in time as proclaimed by the Indian government as proclaimed offender under the Fugitive Economic Offender Act in precisely in 2016. He was also accused of money laundering and making hate speeches against the uh, government. He is also believed to be living in exile. But ladies and gentlemen, uh, this is the man that we now saw in Nigeria. He has also said very um, important um, in, in things uh, which should be worrisome to many of us, uh, gentlemen. Yes. He has said that, uh, that Nigeria is a Muslim country. Yes. He also said that those who are non-Muslim in Nigeria will begin to pay uh, we begin to pay taxes, taxes to yes. the uh, Muslim yes. uh, uh, leaders. Yes, yes. And now this brings to mind um, the Muslim Muslim the agenda. Yes. Uh, a lot of people are saying that the Northerners have uh, an agenda, an agenda to Islamize Nigeria. Yes. Uh, we've been talking about this, and you remember that at the beginning of the 2023 uh, general election, especially when the All Progressive Congress (APC) came out to say that um, they will be flying a Muslim Muslim uh, ticket. A lot of Nigerians, uh, you know, are reacted, and they're saying, "Why should we have a Muslim Muslim ticket?" Also, oh, what happens to the, to, to, to the Christians? Now, after all of these reactions, the All Progressive Congress, APC, continued, and today they, they flew or rode on the Muslim Muslim ticket. Gentlemen. Now, my, what I observe is they did not outwardly come out all this well, but immediately our uh, president was declared as the president of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. Mm. This as, is as, as validated, validated, by validated, as validated, validated by the Supreme Court. This whole, this Dr. Zachary came and is having a crusade. Now, take notes, this crusade couldn't have just been planned yesterday. Not at all. It have been in the pipeline. Of and course. just waiting for the right time. Now, what really amazes me is the fact that he had the infantry to go on social media with pictures of him calling our uh, Air Force the Nigerian, no, the Muslim the Air Force. No, Muslim. Muslim, Muslim Air Force? Air Force. Yes. Okay. Not the Nigerian Air Force, but the military Air Force. That means... <laughs> Our Air Force has been compromised at the moment, and security is going to be a problem. So, um, Zachary also said we have to pay jizya. That's Which is like a tax, a to, the, task. to the Muslim we leaders. We are bona fide Nigerians, members of this country, and we, this is our land. So somebody cannot just come from nowhere and come and start forcing us to start paying this. And moreover, he's a very controversial person that's been banned all over. He's a terrorist. The government should look into this and take him, I mean, they should ban him also. That's my take. Now he's calling the military uh, a Muslim um, military, Muslim Air Force. Air Force. He even called it immigration, Muslim immigration, with pictures of him in Nigeria. No DSS arrest, no, no nothing. Emmanuel, let's, let's flip the coin. Imagine a, 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 a pope or someone from Rome visits Nigeria and says... Or have any crusade in Nigeria. Exactly, and then he take a picture with one of the Christian and leaders and say, this is a, a, a the, the president, the president of, of, the, uh, of Nigeria. Yes. The head of state of Nigeria. Mm -hmm. How can you call a sultan of Sokoto? There are various um, 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 traditional rulers in Nigeria. in Nigeria. But you went to the north and called the, uh, the Sultan of Sokoto the head yes. of state in Nigeria. And nobody give a hoot. You know, I think this also brings to the fore 
Um, you know that the German Chancellor or, or, or was in, a, in Nigeria, visited Abuja precisely on Sunday. It was also in Lagos yesterday. And you remember that um, uh, the most critical statement he made is the fact that uh, we, uh, uh, that they are, they are concerned about the rate of coup happening in African uh, nations or where the military are already taking over and also called the attention of the president to guard against uh, such, such that uh, we protect our democracy and do not allow the military to hijack our democracy. Now, uh, just, just yesterday, we are seeing this Dr. Zakari uh, uh, Naik yes. now coming out to call the Sultan of Sokoto head of state because you can only have head of state when you are having a military uh, go government. If you are not under military rule, then we should not have head, head of, of state. state. So I, I really don't know what our, 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 our security agencies are doing at the moment. Are they looking? Are they folding their hands? Uh, because uh, immediately this statement has been it made, have been up. they should immediately take him up. Oh, absolutely. Arrest now, him. You see what he's doing. He's very intentional. Yes. He's taking pictures with the armed forces. Yes. He's very intentional. He's not dealing with civilians. No. He's dealing with the immigration. He's dealing with the military, military the Air Force. The Air Force. And it's going to continue. I'm sure we'll see more pictures. He's just starting. So it would not be out of place if Nigerians are saying this is an agenda. And you know a lot of people have been saying that the military has been compromised. Um, you know, uh, the, the belief that lots of Boko Haram are already, they have penetrated the military. And for him to be saying this, uh, I mean, uh, uh, with all guns, with all confidence, no confidence, and nobody is saying anything, no arrest has been made. Done. No, I mean, this is just... It is totally unacceptable because uh, let it not be that Nigeria is sitting on the time bomb uh, waiting to explode. Absolutely. And I just hope that the government can quickly contain this yes. uh, because we cannot uh, wait to have a situation where Nigeria is also being hijacked uh, by the military because, um, like they say, it's switching time, 6-9. So we cannot uh, sit down and look. Of course, as members of the First Estate of the REM, we are doing our part, and that's the reason for which we are bringing it to the notice of the appropriate quarters uh, for you to swing into action and contain this. You remember the case of El Zaki is still there. And El Zaki has just been released. Uh, you saw him. He was also being adorned and uh, awarded. He oh, got a award. Uh, I'm trying to remember the country in which he was being uh, given an award. Now, this is another one. I just believe uh, 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 this is another uh, evil rearing its ugly head and there's need for it to be cut down that is it Absolutely. so let's look at another story trending but of course our analysts will we'll also put this to them to react because something drastic needs to be done yeah. so and let's move to another story, story.